Tonight, the concept, the alleged concept of love jihad sprung on the radar after a Kerala High Court judge hearing a case of alleged forcible conversion referred to, quote, rampant love jihad. Love jihad, a conspiracy to convert Hindu and Christian girls to Islam in the guise of love, allege many in Kerala. What about the lives of at least 4,000 girls reported by the Kerala DGP? Say if he is wrong, suppose if he is wrong, why don't you take initiate criminal actions against the Kerala DGP? Court was perhaps right when it said the love and religion need not be mixed together. But many here want to know why did the court overlook an earlier order which clearly states that close to 3,000 to 4,000 girls have been converted in the state in the last four years. While hearing the bail application of two accused in an alleged love jihad case in September 2009, Justice Katie Shankaran had said that conversion in the guise of love was rampant in Kerala. He said that one of the girls had in court confirmed the offender's intent to convert her. The only thing that we have to move further to reconsider the order passed by the Shachidharan Nambia. For joining us tonight, Rahul Ishwar, people in Kerala, very uh, familiar with that face. He's an activist and an author. He joins us from Trivandrum. Is also our Rahul Ishwar, that question straight to you. What is the proof on the basis of which this allegation is being made? Smidaji, if I take 10 seconds to tell, I am coming from a personal background of Shabarimala, where for the past thousand years, we are having a mosque inside a temple. Day before yesterday, I was in Erimeli Mosque to offer my prayers. We respect Muslims, we have respected and accepted them for thousand years. And right now, what is the proof? That's a very valid question. The proof is this. The High Court order, which clearly says for almost 4,000 girls were converted either by coercion or either by compelling and even the judge has said there are funds from Saudi Arabia under the heading, under the title of scholarship which is being given for these people. Okay. So it is not a farce and remember, let me quote report number 18, intelligence report number 18 submitted by the Christian DGP of Kerala. I am only saying religious name because otherwise many people will say it's a Hindu to agenda. The Christian DGP of Kerala giving a category intelligence report to the Kerala High Court right. that there are almost 1600 in uh, conversion case in one district alone. So these are hard facts which no one can deny. Uh, Rahul, yes, Midaji, with all humility, let me point out that was the first report submitted by DGP when there was elections in Kerala. Ten days later, he submitted another report which was in the seal cover, which Justice K.T. Shangaran quoted extensively in the last verdict, where DGP says, intelligence report number 18, that we, are, we have strong suspicion that there are many alleged forceful conversions here. So it should be deeply inquired into. And the report you have mentioned is the earlier one, which DGP has changed in the court later. Uh, it is the NDF that they are now alleging or the students being that are carrying out these forced conversions and this is an important point to make. We'll be going back to Rahul Ishwar on this one. 20 year old Manju says she is a victim of love jihad. She alleges she was duped into love by a Muslim boy and asked to convert if she wanted to marry him but was abandoned after she converted. Mobile, mobile phone he spoke to me on the mobile, we met through friends at the ice cream parlor and at the theater. Why did you keep meeting him? I was attracted. Manju's allegation is supported by Kerala DGP Jacob Punos, who has filed a report in the Kerala High Court saying that three to four thousand Hindu and Christian girls have converted to Islam in the last four years. Say if he is wrong, suppose if he is wrong, why don't you take initiate criminal actions against the Kerala DGP? So what is love jihad? The NDF is an offshoot of the banned student Islamic movement of India, say security agencies. Through its student wing, Campus Front, sources in the special branch say it is going on a conversion drive, worrying rival student bodies. And terror is coming onto the campus and that has to be stopped. This is a new form of terror, not using bombs but using love. Saffron voices allege foreign funding, saying that love jihadis are given expensive mobiles, bikes and even cash to fight legal battles. Rahul, isn't this a case of pure politics? Absolutely no. See, we don't have any politics and remember, 
Kerala is ruled, Kerala is a communist state ruled by communists where BJP is not even having a seat. So there is no politics and remember one very important thing. Campus politics. People like Arati keep on lying that we are against inter-religious marriages. No. I am a Nambudri Brahmin. I am marrying a girl from another community. My very close friend is a Muslim. He married a Hindu but he didn't convert. Remember the problem is they are luring girls by f and forcefully converting them and blackmailing them to convert. That's the problem. And second thing, don't call it love jihad. Call it love terrorism. See, if there is a problem with the word jihad, jihad is a holy word that for many Muslims. Sound, Call it love terrorism. But remember, ridiculous. You are what? secularism with the lives of girls. In the name of secularism, you are spoiling at least the life of thousands of girls. They are being trapped into it. They are being forcefully converted. They are being abandoned. Rahul. It's a reality you cannot overlook. Rahul, 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 Rahul. Many of them we are referring to are educated, MBS, many of the cases that you know about. If they're doing this of their own volition, why are they not doing it of their own volition if they're adults? Uh, clearly in this case, it appears to be that the see, parents were not in favor of it. As, see, I'm remember, not willing to I'm go with this argument that I'm only, I am only against forceful conversion. And remember, even Mahatma Gandhi's son was given money and was converted into a Muslim. So why don't you, you know, why do, please spare these people. They are being brainwashed, blackmailed and coerced into a different religion. That's the problem. We are not against conversion. Yeah, yeah. We are against forceful conversion. I have not personally heard of such instances. Right. I don't think any of the cases we are talking about, these women come and say that they have been forcibly, forcibly converted. Right. So I'm not even going to go down the road of forcible conversion. Right. It has nothing to do with love jihad. Right. See, what about the CNN Sorry, can I just report add very quickly? five minutes ago showing a girl where she said she was forcefully converted and then abandoned. See, madam, let us not play pseudo-secularism or any pseudo-liberal talks on this. this